speech. What, uh, Arian? Will uh, stand as uh, as the trial basically begins. Look down to uh, to Gorman Peak and to uh, to Desm this time. And he will say, uh, "You bring a traumatized, apparently a scarred little lady into court. Who dare I should?" I should take care of you personally for this sort of insult. You will end this immediately, or I will take this very personal. As an insult to my person. And he is trying to intimidate you into goddamn stopping this. And that is Arian Baratheon saying it. Uh, Not that. They should do, yes. Oh, well, doesn't you want to shot fire? That is a terrible intimidation. <laughs> he is, might still be a little bit flustered. That doesn't even scratch, does him. Yeah. No. He is unperturbed by this bluster. Down at you. You just snap your fingers at him. And no, the... I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, we'll look to uh, we'll look to uh, you know to to Bree and say. So, I'm very sorry that. That the, your um, well, family would put you through this, but don't worry, we won't let them harm you as they usually do. You're safe here. You don't need to fear any repercussions for what you say in this place. You can trust us. She looks to Desm. He can't hurt you now. Uh, and she's trying to charm her way in. Uh, to Bree's heart. Cold as it might be. Uh, let's see here. That is then her persuasion. She just got a minus trying to persuade Bree to do anything, really. <laughs> Can't persuade Bree to do shit. That's a two degrees of success. Two degrees of success. She deals damage equal to her persuasion rank, which would then be at six total. You are indifferent, so that yeah. is two points of damage. Okay. Good. I was uh, oscillating in my head between who I would try and intimidate. I've decided now. <laughs> well, uh, part of the crowd begins to, to, to be agitated. The front part up there, perhaps, where, uh, where, where, where Nima is hanging out. Begins to, uh, well, let's see here how this goes. Uh, all right. Uh, it raises its agitation by two, only needing one more to... Uh, oh, gosh. Asher, what are you doing? Before, before they're kicked out <laughs> as they begin to talk and, and, and mumble and... Uh, hey. And, uh, and, and she pulls uh, the re-roll. She'll get that person kicked out as well. By, by saying, how can this little girl look at her? She's not a proper lady. All the whispers and such. As people begin to push yeah. in. Shove. Horn is uh, is trying to uh, to further assist Lord Arian. Minus. Okay. Okay. Can't help Nima. I literally can't help her right now. So I'm instead going to um. Oh, okay. It's the same thing I did did more or less the last time here. Let's let's do some manipulation. I think of the judges. Who are you trying to manipulate? Oh. Lord, Lord, Lord Arian, so so much says he he cares he cares for the girl's honor, but then he goes he goes ahead and does something which could possibly scare a lady of the court like that, oh. Such, so brash, so harsh. Doesn't doesn't he know how to speak like a normal like all of us? If you'd really just calm down, perhaps this court trial would go a lot faster. <laughs> also, I need to roll my uh, courage test while I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If you dare speak such a way. <laughs> <laughs> feel safe hidden in the crowd. Uh, that's a success. All right. no, not as good of a success. It's going down. All right. Well, you can try to manipulate. Sure. 
would you have an agreement on what um you know, would what you know, what would you say my um, type is for that then? Uh it what sounded it definitely like persuasion. I suppose it would be a convince or charm. I can I'm okay with convince. Convince works. In which case I get one bonus dice and one extra bonus dice. Twenty one. <laughs> Right, yeah. Bam. People seem to put pressure on him to uh, to convince him to to act. I suppose again with a seducer charm. Yeah. Yep. A charm, I think, is more appropriate. <laughs> right. You want to make him charm. I mean, I don't think it's quite right for him to try seducing Bree. Yeah, I'd be a little bit. <laughs> that would be. Mm. Although that would perfectly. Uh, right. Someone you tried that once. <laughs> yeah. Alex? Um. Does uh, moving affects the square that you're in, or it's the one you're leaving? That because you're pushing people is. around. Mm. Um, sure, but I only have one. I, I was thinking if I could save, or well, I like help save Nima up there, but then I only have one. This turn, could be this really. Could, this, could, this could be good. This could be good. Could we know the person's in that crowd right now? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, no. I, a mechanical question. Mm -hmm. Say that uh, Tino wants to leave that square up there that has three agitation. She increased it to four. Does she escape being kicked out of the crowd yes. as she's leaving? Okay. Oh, okay. It yeah. is worth noting, uh, you can agitate any tile that is on your side. Uh -huh. One tile on your side, meaning that if you're over here, you can do that here, or here, you can do that here. Oh, which you don't you need have to, to be in that one to be there. Speaking right. of agitation, you need to kick mine up one step, because I, I made it's the crowd stop manipulating. Um, you know, I'll, you I will see if I can read Lord uh, Baratheon. Sure. How aware are you of the situation? Yeah. That's very aware, aware, as it aware. turns out. Yeah. Good work, Sir Alaric. So, um, I'm happy with that. Uh, let's see here. You want to read? Read a Josh pushing yourself to the front of everything to get a good look that should be sure hard. uh yes all right well as it turns out he is uh, he's indifferent but only just yeah he, uh, he's leaning towards disliking you at the moment mm. and uh, if if lord peak has his way he probably will move to that in that direction right now though he's indifferent he seems to just be angry at you he wants this whole fast to be over. Someone, like, didn't. They disregarded his rights as liege lord of uh, the Stormlands, and someone needs to damn well pay. Uh, and you right now seem like a perfectly good, like, who do you even think you are? How dare you act in this way? And not only that, but this damn court is trying to impose, like, trying to make him act like some dumb damn Reachlander. God. The worst. <laughs> uh, Some damn respect. Mm. Uh, with that knowledge, you can, you can. Uh, tomorrow, you can add another die to your, uh, or a test die against him, and you know that he's currently indifferent. Good to know. Good. Nima, you should totally um, escape the crowd quickly. I, I can also just, you know. If you do, uh, if you take an action such as reading, you will get yourself kicked out. Uh, yeah. you, I, I, I can also just. You can also win the crowd. So you could try calming it, but I think the legitimate best thing I to do here is get the agitation. I can also just paralyze them if I want. Well, there's someone the is, in the. You know, there's someone the in this crowd because they they raised this they raised it to free. Someone else is trying to get the crowd excited. Right. Well, so then the... you could you could like utilize them yeah, inciting sorry. it by winning the crowd, if you win and then the... if you end up getting kicked out, well then so be it. At least you've gotten the bonus from that. I could paralyze them with the. You only increase the agitation by yeah. one if you fail with the agitation crowd, or the winning the crowd. Yeah. And you paralyzing one paralyzes the entire side. You paralyze yourself as well as well, Sir Alaric, I imagine, because that entire crowd on your side is shut down. Mm. What's your? Uh, do you have any uh, skill that you would think that is applicable that you could reliably get a nine on? Um, we're talking about talking, right? Not necessarily I do have... if you can figure something else out. But you can justify. 
Uh, well, I have a hard time imagining where I could use agility and stuff like that, but I do have deception. I mean, and I guess you, you could agility you could use you those. could use agility to like sneakily throw something like a fruit or whatever at one and like just to like win the crowd to agitate them into it's like more a, like agitating for, though. I'm going for peak or something. I'm, I mean, winning them is getting them to support the two of you. Somehow. Yeah. <laughs> throw rose at us. No. We love you, Caladan. We that? love you, oh. you big Yeah, I don't know. Um. Calm the the crowd. What do I roll to do that? Uh, you just do it. Uh, you roll. You roll what you think is appropriate. You get a nine, and then you lower the agitation by two. Flash of weapons. You will settle down. The thing is, Ashra might be setting up the crowd for a a wind crowd attempt next turn as well. Who? Ashra, because he's the one who riled up the crowd. Well, the the agent. That's yeah, a Agent Ashra, Ashra whoever yeah. that is. <laughs> well, one it, thing is you, you could get them get kicked out. It's something you can do. Well, that would be good, wouldn't it, to get him kicked out? Yeah, that's what we were trying simply to say. Moving, simply, moving, simply moving to here makes the, the agitation go to four, which is then enough that this crowd is too unruly. Well, then let's kick him out. You go there, it goes to four then. And, uh, well, the people in there are kicked out. And... Uh, and that crowd is now thin. Yeah. How do you know Ashra is in there? Whoever Ashra is. We don't know. No, no Ash Ashra is being used as a representative for any NPC tokens that we don't know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The fact is, we know someone was in there though, because someone else was making the crowd worse. No, they can. No, they can be on any position on that okay. side. Yeah. Now that one's just inaccessible. Doesn't. All right. Well, I can do two things. I can start the attack on uh, uh, Lady Jordan here, uh, and then uh, because Bree is most likely going to follow that up. Gla with guns glacial blazing. laser eyes right on Jordan. Yep. So he can he can light her up um, to to pave the way for for Bree, and we might just take her out in one fell swoop. That would be pretty good, actually. Uh, or I can try to get uh, Lord Baratheon back on our side. Um, Focus fire. They clearly tried to do yeah. that against Keldomir's character. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, all right, Dustin will then uh, walk forward and say, "Lady Jordan, your uh, your wisdom is is known far and wide, but I do not uh, like the attempt at uh, tubbing my dear niece against me. Such is very uncouth, to say the least." He will have a dramatic <gasps> pause. And then he will um, he will continue. There has been uh, lots of talk of uh, of uh, whose fault it is and why and plunder and murder and a lot of things. But we are nobles, ladies and gentlemen, and my lords and ladies. We are nobles. We have duties. We must protect law. We must protect order. We must protect the weak, and we must safeguard the innocent. Is that not so? He looks dramatically around. Hmm. These are virtues that we have sworn to uphold. And what are we to do when villains come along and threaten all of this we have sworn to protect? Are we to sit back? Are we to send letters that will take months or perhaps never even arrive at the destinations because they have to travel through lands so rife with criminals and banditry that are so savage that they can't they don't even hesitate to attack and brutally scar even young children you know in an indication to Bree. why do you insist on trying to protect such criminals lady jordan it is for me Unfathomable, and then we'll dramatically slam the cane down again. Uh, and here uh, he will try to. Uh, let's see here. This sounds like either a. I mean, that could even be a taunting. Could be a taunt, yes. See, that is a. Let's see here. Taunt. I'd even say maybe in sight. Yeah, but it's not it's really driving her up a bit. Uh, yeah, I'll 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 go with a taunt. That yeah. seems that seems reasonable, I guess. Yeah, yeah insight's about anger. Taunt is not. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and that is then looking at this chart, that is a persuasion. Persuasion taunt. Yes. Uh, I don't have taunt, I don't think. Mm, no, I have an intimidate. Could it be intimidate? Uh, no, you have not threatened her. Okay. Well, here it goes then. Get wrecked. My god. Fuck, <laughs> man. That bonus die. Yeah. Uh, well, you know. Uh, that is pretty good. <laughs> Let's see here. We're back a minute. That would be three. What's your awareness, ranks? My awareness is four. Four? Just a, uh, all right. Uh huh. All right, sure. She is uh, taking it back quite uh, quite strongly, uh, leaning back in the chair, frowning, clearly, clearly thinking, like losing losing mask for a little bit. Looking at you, uh, not really, yeah. Taking it back a lot. She's she's clearly thinking, or well, trying to anyway. Uh, she's still in the fight, however. Oh, so roughly we'll how long that lasts. <laughs> Wisdom, uncle, known far and wide. Listen here, Lady Jordane. The treacherous words of Dornish women are valueless here in the heart of High Garden. We know the tactics of snakes and their venomous lies. I carry them even now, on scars across my body, inflicted by your people. If you persist in trying such sweet methods, you'll prove as useless as toothless gourmet. Perhaps you should shut up before you're humiliated further. Sure. Also, insult to Dorney's women is one of the other things that the crowd loves. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! And so, uh, the yeah, is let's over. do it. And everything gains an agitation. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Rubble, rubble! These things only work one one time, by the way. If you Good. That is a pure intimidation. Get the fuck out of my <laughs> face. Triple sixes! My god. <laughs> Mega! That, uh, that, is, that is the second time he's got all sixes. Well, uh, the first time think... was just two dice. Yeah, but... <laughs> Still. Well, let's see here. Right. You will see a, a very uh, proving nod from Desim. <laughs> it's like, yes, very good. Twelve left. Oh, that can't be reduced enough. <gasps> yep, that's, uh, uh, of course, my will rank, and then uh, my will rank is three. Looks at the crowd, who is like, this is basically like, they're like roaring. Mm -hmm. They love it. They're snakes! Get her out of here! Tyrell! Baratheon, and uh, are... and she, uh, well, will sort of blink a few times, looking at the crowd, looking at her judges. The other judges were sort of not really doing anything here, and she will fucking sit down. Uh, you are brilliant. you love how I tied in that insult to toothless <laughs> gourmet. Yeah, 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 that's why me and Jessup is like very nice. Yes, he seems, <laughs> seems pretty pissed here. <laughs> <laughs> I end my turn. Hmm. Well, as it turns out, over here, uh, the crowd is very agitated right now. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it just gets agitated enough oh, that, shit. Uh, that guards actually rush into that section too, uh, grabbing both Elric and Nima and pulling them out. Aww. Throwing them out of this because they're too unruly and uh, need to come down. Yeah. I imagine we're just sitting and 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 gets thrown out as well. But, drinking yeah. drinking from from a wine skin, and we're like, what? <laughs> Alaric like, just oh, kind of okay. looks order, down at the guards, order. like, uh, like barely sure. holding order at the moment. Yeah. Kicked out of the trial. <laughs> Damn, that's some serious roles you got over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, oh, shit. How's Caladan brings it on the on the talking? Uh, well, we'll uh, 
Not too uh, wouldn't say. It is true, my lady, that the Dornish are spineless snakes. She'll look out at the crowd. We're still roaring in like they love they love that. It's the best thing in the world. Uh Jordan doesn't seem to enjoy that uh, that he says that right here in front of everyone. As, uh, as she continues. And it is true what you say. Perhaps we should consider these others to be our enemies, but we do not need to hear it from you. You have suffered enough, and to be honest, I think you need to rest, perhaps. Or perhaps even to find these people you so demand justice of and deal them some. I know I would support it. Wow. Well, to, to charm his way into the heart to... Uh, oh, no. well, it sounds as if yes. we've convinced him already. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it sounds it's, like he's on our side. Of, I think he's going to back uh, us up on this. Because... You know, Dornish people are, are snakes. There's no lying about that. If we can, if we can roll in next time with Baratheon support. Yes, to, I, uh, charm. Here. I'm just calling this. This is going very well. I'm touching wood as I say this, so don't jinx anything. This is going very well, and I'm loving this. So so far, so far. far. Oh, that's surprising. Mm. Charming. Wow. That's well, he has to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it gets it's two degrees. Two degrees. All right. Well, it is not his best thing. But that is uh, that is eight points reduced because you're indifferent to four. Okay. All right. I'll take all that on the chin. Huh. Oh, Gorman stands. He hates you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> does it? Because I can get him to sit Especially down. because it goes so damn well for you right now. And he doesn't yeah. like that at all. This is not at all what he had in mind. This 11 year old girl just sass mouthed Toothless Gormy over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as, uh, as he was that. Sadly, he's not the most diplomatic person in general, which is why he's tried not to say too much. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not in. Oh, wait, it then is, it's, it's fine. It is the big scare lord not going to shout at a, a small girl. Like, he's going to embarrass himself, whatever he does here. Uh huh. Well, uh, not not exactly. Let's see here. What is what is he actually gonna try to do? He'll uh, he will uh, he will look at uh, and and say uh, uh, let's see here. Well, I actually look at Bree. Yeah. Well. Miss Caladan, and he will give oh. a, a a smile, a warm smile, like only that of a hungry wolf could be. And say, I have the deepest respect for your family, and I wish you only the best. But this is the matter of adults. Perhaps it is time that we should have a, a witness who uh, can tell us a little more, perhaps with more perspective. This young lady then would... Have some cakes, maybe a new dress to help her ease into the culture of this place. She'll smile. So, <laughs> wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> this can't. This can't work. I refuse to believe that this will work. <laughs> this, Let's if see there's, how convinced I am by cakes. If, if there's, there's any justice in the world, right, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot be taken in by this creature. Well, he he does get a bonus against you because he doesn't like you very much. <clears throat> well, I I. <laughs> okay. Well, but then that the dr from unfriendly. Well, it, yeah. If he if he doesn't like me very much, if, like if, I suppose that would be deception from him then rather than persuasion. He's not being genuine in in yeah. the funny two feet you can't yeah. just yeah. decide. Yeah. No. Well, okay. Well, uh, that uh, is but enough. But he's not to very get... good at not being genuine because everyone yeah. knows. Yeah. Uh, One degree, and I have six dr against him. All right. Well, uh, let's see. What does he deal damage with that? Uh, that would then be an exact of three damage, which doesn't do anything. As he, as he glares down. I'm swayed by the cakes. Three arches or eyebrow like the mention of cakes. <laughs> Lennis is... Uh, yeah. It's not thrown out. Though I think it's though I think it's fairly obvious. I think I want to try and read Gormy for the extra dice. I don't know how much. All right, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. 
kind of push myself to the edge here. It's like, what, what exactly is he? Did he really just try doing that to Bree? I'm gonna. He currently has the stupid disposition. <laughs> I'm gonna light up Baratheon next. Yep. Yep. He is. He's malicious. <laughs> and you get the idea that unless he will, no matter what arguments you put towards him, he will never vote for you. No, you definitely. cannot, he cannot be convinced by normal means. You might know of a way in which you could do it. Having all four judges vote for you would basically not even allow them a trial by combat. They would be thrown out of court. And your case would, well, be the truth. There would be basically no discussion about it. But... As it turns out, he doesn't really like you. And unless someone else, who is maybe more important than his dislike for you, would indicate that he should support you, he's not a question. Good. Question, Malachi. Do yes. we need them all four to vote for us, or do we only no, need you unanimous? Can win, you can win with a majority. But do we need unanimous? Because we, he can, we can maybe pummel him enough that he doesn't even vote. Because then we will have three to zero, and then it will be unanimous. Or does he have to vote He for has to throw his, his opinion, yeah. Okay. Well, unfortunate. Um, has... Hey, hey, at least getting it so they're, they're the one doing a trial by combat for defense instead of us is probably a good idea. Still good, pretty good. I don't think, you know, mm -hmm. him, it's like, yeah, yeah. But you've learned that, yeah. Who does him? Touch you again. <sighs> it turns out this is going much better than... Well, let's go to begin. Let us once again return to our travels and our adventures down through the Bowery. We, as I said, set off on a noble diplomatic mission to strengthen the bonds and try to do our best to do our duty as are ordained by the king. He sort of uh, stretches up a little bit. On this road, this road that I once again remind everyone here are supposed to to be under the protection of house will and guarded by them we were set upon by raiders not once but twice during our short trip back and forth these attacks were the most vicious and heinous i have seen in years uh, leading such horrible charge were slavering animals once upon a time perhaps they were dogs but on the treat, treatment of House Will, they were little more than beasts. And he will do like a dramatic flourish, uh, pointing at the, you know, the, the painting to be unveiled. Just at the, unveiled. The, yeah. And then and <gasps> like this yes, horrific. This is a painting that Desm has not held back on. Usually he sort of holds back a little bit because, you know, Agatha has prodded him to do it. This he has not. Uh, a lot of frustration, a lot of anger. Uh, and just maliciousness has gone into this. He has let his darkness flow here. And it is a, a, an excruciatingly haunting piece of like the, the dogs and the, like, the madness, the pain, the horror in their eyes and like the, bleed, the bleeding gums and teeth as they sort of all seem to circle around this small and heroic uh, group of, of people standing against this like darkness. Uh, like it come, coming against them, uh, and like the the dogs might be, you know, it might looks like in in the like in the shadows of the painting as there are serpents like biting at the heels of the dogs, uh, like urging them ever forward to go even madder, and they are like emaciated. It's obviously they have been incredibly mistreated, and it, it is it is just the most heart wrenching picture as you see like. Uh, renditions of the party and like uh, with like Brie everything is wrestling with these beasts as, as the serpents like laughs in the shadows at them at the pain and horror they have caused and this is directed at Lord uh, Lord Baratheon uh, I'm trying to incite him I am trying to uh, probably an uh, Sounds pretty insightful, Inc yeah. inciting. Inciting. It can also be a bluff because he's sort of, you know, bluffing up a bit. Trying to lie a bit about it, sure. Yeah, he's, he's you know. If you want to be deceitful or not, that's up to you. Just, you know, a bit of dramatic, uh, dramatic pause. Oh, let's see, it's 4-2 for deception or it's a 5-1 for... 5-1? I mean, you're generally trying to make him angry, right? That's I am trying to make him angry, yes. All right, let's go with the insight. Let's go with the insight. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we did not... Uh, the persuade. We did not have a bonus die with him yet. No. 
Uh, the two you have have been set down. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and we do not have any further penalties or bonuses against him, I think. There we go. That is a very good insight. All right. I'm getting two. What is your cunning? Five. Five. All right. Uh, sure, he will take that on the chin then. Uh, but as it turns out, you have incited Lord Baratheon about dogs, and he will not have this. <laughs> he is active, though now two other people have sat down, so it doesn't matter as much, but he's going to not sit down for the rest of this day. <laughs> Besides that, he immediately stands and basically calls that everyone in the crowd get out. I'm not having this. Shit, go oh. first now. Oh, Shit. why? He For kicked the everyone time, out? People in the crowd are not here. King's got not here either. He's out. Ah! Oh, fuck. Baratheon's anger is, uh, is, has been summoned. And he is wielding it with, with true uh, flurry that someone would dare do this. Or perhaps that you would lie about this to... Yeah. What Heads are done? gonna fall. Uh, with, with that in mind, Jonas, would now be the time to just withdraw? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you have a bite from the dog, don't you? Well, Bree. One of us. Well, it's important to the church. I mean, like, we, we got, like, another victory here. Like, I can take some frustration, so I'm willing to go another round. You have, uh, we have possibly moved Lord Baratheon to our favor more by, like, okay. uh, by speaking this. So it is possible for us to end here. See? See? We, All right. we could go another round. It would yeah, be interesting. I, I think so. I think so. I think we should try. Okay. Worst okay. case, like, what, the 11-year-old girl's going to lose yeah. her fucking mind and go eat cakes? <laughs> God! Okay. Sure. I, I'm going to attempt to convince deceptively. My Lord Baratheon, my uncle is right. I appreciate your concern, but none can refute the pain I have endured at the hands of Dornish kidnappers bearing the emblems of House Will. And more importantly, my lord... Have you noticed that some of these scars along my arms and collarbone are those made by dogs? Ravenous, crazed dogs, driven to maddened suicide by disease. They cared not for their lives, my lord. They were sacrificed just to further the ends of bandits. You could send any of your men, an entire legion, straight to our castle and inquire there, everyone who is with us and everyone who's traveled the bone way knows please my lord you know the dornish for the snakes they are you know such tactics are not beyond them take a good look at what they've done to me <laughs> grabs your arm and looks at the many many scars you have and you can roll okay that did not roll properly by the looks of things at least i didn't I see a roll see it. No. I'll be try selecting my token and try again. Wow. Oh, yeah! Fuck uh, yeah! Keeping it up. Fuck your rolls, man. <laughs> Look at uh, what is your damage with this? Let's see, uh, that would be, it'd be my will rank. So I have three ranks of will. So. Uh, all right. Well, that is one degree. Uh, he is not entirely uh, perturbed by it, but he certainly says, I will send someone to ask. This is not going to go over well for whoever is responsible. So you're releasing your arm and <laughs> smolderingly back. Desim would know Bree well enough that there's actually like a small like twinge of fear when Lord Baratheon's like right next to her. Like, I may have just yeah. fucked up. Yeah, Desim also <laughs> stiffens when, when, when he walks over. He's like, uh-oh. Yeah, he seems right now to be uh, pretty fucking pissed. Yeah. As he, as he will... Uh, I'll stand up and say, uh, you know who I am. And I told you before that I will not accept anything in this court that is, is uh, unlike what I can expect from lords of your stature. You are not Stormlanders, but regardless, I could order your death right now if I so desired, and it would be carried out without a question. He looks at you and says, you will immediately... Tell me the truth. And he's trying to intimidate 
uh, Dessen. Okay. She's not directing this against three. Now that the crowd's turns out, out of she's here, a right? little girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's true. She is. She is a little girl. All right, let's brace myself because this might hurt. He, tr he tried this before, and it looks like he did better this time. He did better this time. Yes. All right, uh, my yeah. my intrigue defense is twelve. It's two degrees then. Two degrees. Um, He's using his will rank to do damage. A willful history is the question. A lot, I'm guessing. Oops. Uh, then eight damage. Eight, yeah. and I have four against a uh, DR against him because I'm indifferent. Mm -hmm. uh, four damage. Four damage. Okay. I'll you take a that. A lot of composure is turned up. You're very well yeah. strong. No, I have a decim is. Lord Peak will stand as well. Glare at you. And say, uh, My Lord of Baratheon is right. I too would support such a notion if you dared lie about this. If this is indeed the truth, then we will take action. But if it is not, your head will roll. And if you have painted this as anything but what it is, I will make sure personally that you and yours get punished for it. He's as well trying to intimidate you. He's a little better than that. Uh, than decept deceiving people, as it turns out. <laughs> well, you <laughs> say that. <laughs> you're not, say you're that. not threatened at all by uh, my thought. Just, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's hard horrible. to follow up Lord Baratheon. Honestly, you can't really upstage him. I tried to ride the wave, but it didn't. Yeah, yeah it didn't really go anywhere. Desim then will uh, we'll, uh, walk uh, slightly forward uh, as he uh, pulls out a few papers from uh, from his uh, his uh, his coat as he walks forward to uh, to the judges and uh, say, "You have de demanded truths, my lords, and truth is what House Caledon brings now and forever." As he slams down the. Uh, um, the, the papers in, in front of them. My lords, the true villains are still how's will. I keep returning to this fact before you, he says, uh, are evidence gathered by us on the second attack uh, from how's will. As you can see, it is a letter with notes of ransom for will raiders in their territory, who to attack and who can be worth a tidy sum to uh, to buy back from the different noble houses they would be kidnapped from. As he sort of he will turn this over to Lord Lord Baratheon. This proves, my lords, that House Will are so villainous that they, this is not even a lack of order in their land. This is a systematic assault on travelers, on the king's peace, on us. 